welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to drive into the world of cloud computing and discuss one of the leading platform in this space amazon web service commonly known as aws if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscription button and the bell icon to stay updated with our latest technical videos let's start Let's understand what is AWS. AWS stands for Amazon Web Service. It is a compressive and widely used cloud computing platform offered by Amazon.com. AWS provides a vast range of cloud services and solutions that enable individual, organization, and business to build and deploy various applications and services. Let's understand the AWS region and the availability zone and the data center. Region means in AWS, region is a physical location around the world where they keep the group of data center. Each region consists of multiple isolated and physical separated availability zone, right? Let this region is our Mumbai region, right? And in this region, in this Mumbai region, we have three availability zone. This, this is the one availability zone and this is the two availability zone and this is the three availability zone. In a region, the availability zone are completely isolated from each other. And inside the availability zone, the Amazon kept the data center. AWS has 25 region around the world and six more are going to be open shortly. In availability zone, there are 80 number of availability zone currently in AWS. The main important thing is, this is the very main important thing. Inside the one region, multiple availability zone are there. Minimum the availability zone is three, right? And inside the one availability zone, AWS keeps the uh, number of data centers right then next go to the important aws services computing power aws offers virtual services known as aws elastic computer cloud ec2 where allow user to run application and perform computation in the cloud then storage aws provides scalable and durable storage option such as aws simple storage service that is s3 for object storage aws elastic block storage that is ebs for persistent block storage and aws glacier for long term archival storage then next one is database management aws offer a various of managed database services including AWS Relational Database Service that is RDS for relational data, AWS DynamoDB for SQL database and AWS Redshift for data warehousing. Then next one is networking. AWS provide networking capabilities such as AWS Virtual Private Cloud that is VPC which allow user to create isolated virtual network within the AWS. Uh, it also offer a service like uh, AWS uh, Route 53 for uh, domain name uh, system uh, DNS management and AWS uh, uh, direct uh, connection for, uh, for established uh, dedicated uh, network uh, connection. The uh, next one is uh, security and uh, uh, compliance. AWS offers uh, robust uh, security uh, measures to protect uh, data and uh, uh, resources. Uh, it includes uh, features like uh, identity and access management, uh, that is IAM, uh, virtual, virtual private cloud, uh, VPC uh, security group, encryption option, and uh, compliance uh, with various individual standards, management and monitoring. 
AWS provides uh, tools for uh, managing and monitoring AWS resources and services. AWS uh, cloud formation allow infrastructure uh, deployment through code. Uh, while AWS uh, CloudWatch enables monitoring and logging of resources. That's all about this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe our channel for more exciting video. Till next time, keep exploring and involving with the power of AWS.